the crisis in Manipur took another U-turn with the Kondra and Sagma's uh, National People's Party, the NPP, which is the second largest ally with seven MLAs in the BGP-led NDA state government, withdrawing its support to the ruling alliance, citing its failure to restore the normalcy and expressing deep concern. The move does not pose an immediate threat to the government led by Chief Minister N. Birin Singh as the BJP holds a comfortable majority with 37 MLAs of its own in the 60-member assembly. The development follows a little more than a year after another ally, the Kugi People's Alliance, withdrew from the NDA. Earlier, an indefinite curfew was imposed and internet and mobile services were suspended after protesters tried to storm the residence of several lawmakers, including State Chief Minister N. Birin Singh. Police arrested 23 people in connection with the incident, while hundreds defied the curfew. To hold the demonstrations against the recent spurt of violence in Manipur. All right, viewers, joining me live on the broadcast is, in fact, my colleague, Nibir Dekar. Nibir, very good morning to you. Um, this is, in fact, another unfortunate news break that we are tracking from Manipur as there were attacks on the chief minister's residence uh, in the past few days and other ministers and MLAs. Right now, the NPP has decided to withdraw the support, citing the law and order issues, while internet continues to be suspended in seven districts of the Manipur. There is a uh, spurt in the cases of violent clashes as well. What remains to be the stand of, in fact, the government at this point of time after the NPP has decided to withdraw the support given the kind of developments that have unfolded in the northeastern state? Well, as you know that there is a lot of situation on going on in Manipur and the recent political developments are in parallel with the developments on, on the ground of conflict and violence that we are seeing. And as such, NPP, which is a key ally of the BJP in, in NDA, so they have withdrawn their support from uh, the BJP government in Manipur. But this is a very interesting development because NPP has been with the NDA at the center as well. They have not stated their overall a stand with the BJP, but as far as Manipur is concerned, they have withdrawn their seven legislators. Although the BJP enjoys a comfortable majority, but this development comes, uh, uh, it's very interesting because from a northeastern political perspective, NPP holds the key uh, position with the BJP to establish their political dominance in the region, and their going away from the government is a very important political development as far as uh, politi politics in northeast is concerned. Hmm. Nibir, also kindly give us the details about the uh, current situation of law and order right now. You have given us, in fact, the sense and we are continuing to get uh, the details from different districts and corners of Manipur, which we talk about, Bishnupur, Imphal East or Imphal West or the Chura Chandpur districts. But uh, right now, there has been anger over uh, the bodies that have been found. What is the situation right now? How well, are the authorities maintaining or trying their attempt to maintain the law and order and pacify the angered people of both the communities who have engulfed into the clashes? Well, uh, as far as the security is concerned, the DG of the CRPF is here in Imphal. The GOC command of the Indian Army is here and the flag marches have been going on uh, in Imphal right now. We are in the heart of the city and we are seeing that heavy security deployment being done across these uh, states. And uh, the internet has been shut down as such. The, the flow of information wherein people mobilize has also stopped. And as such, the amount of uh, mobilization has gone down. However, there are sitting demonstrations going on in different parts of the state. And right now we are present in one of those sitting demonstrations in, uh, in Imphal Ima market. The, the, there is visible resentment. However, the security has been enhanced to a great extent and the CRPF and the army columns are doing marches which has reduced the uh, conflict that we have seen two days prior when thousands of people were on the streets and they were demonstrating their anger but since the last 24 hours or so it has subsided and the increased security uh, uh, shows you the underlying tensions that are prevailing in the state of Manipur as such that it requires a huge number of 
armed personnel uh, to con- counter uh, the so-called resentment that, that has been uh, going on in Manipur for more than 17 months now. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.